Kia designs its vehicles with a sporty aesthetic, while Hyundai offers a more luxurious and flowing design, reaching a broader target market with a slightly more diverse selection of vehicles. Both Kia and Hyundai have a good reputation, but there can only be one winner when it comes to reliability, like many of the comparisons between Hyundai and Kia. However this was a close battle, today we're going to differentiate between two electric cars to find out which one is best, we have the futuristic Hyundai Ioniq 5 and the stylish Kia EV6. We'll observe both cars exterior and interior designs, performance and engine specifications, acceleration and price tags, and also choose a car we analyze to be better, let's dive into the video. Hyundai Ioniq 5 vs Kia EV6 All Review Globally, Hyundai Motor says it will invest $16.2 billion in making electric vehicles, including $5.5 billion for new EVs production and battery manufacturing plant in Bryan County, Georgia, United States of America. The Ioniq 5 is a futuristic crossover with lots of space inside and wide legroom for passengers in both the front seats and back seats. The Ioniq 5 comes with less power and performance than its rival. The rugged-looking Kia EV6 is the first model developed on the electric global modular platform, eGMP, similar to the Hyundai Ioniq 5, giving the EV6 the ability to be extremely aerodynamic on high speed unlike typical crossover SUVs. The EV6 sits low to the ground and has sporty precise steering that makes it a joy to chuck around corners and delivers a powerful 576 horsepower, it can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds. Now let's dive into the nitty gritty aspects of both cars, design features. The EV6's inner cabin is both appealing and current with a wide touch screen mounted at the right half of the dashboard, and a round shape directing wheel. You offer a huge all-encompassing sunroof accessible for the EV6 GT line all-wheel drive variant, an astounding highlights that is remarkable in numerous vehicles, warmed front seats and warmed guiding wheel comes standard, surrounding lighting and double zone control are accessible too. Kia outfitted the EV6 with two tremendous shows that give you a computerized driving encounter, while the AR head-up show places data in your view. All models have a Wi-Fi area of interest, likewise all models of the EV6 have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto cell phone reflecting, while GT line models and different models gets remote telephone charging, a respectable standard 6-speaker sound system is supplanted with a 14-speaker Meridian framework on the off chance that you go for range-beating GT Line S trim. The rambling front LED lighting makes a strong style explanation on the outside, while the thin monotail light is an eye-getting component that is entirely special. The windshield additionally flawlessly mixes into the accessible wide power sunroof, the Ioniq 5 front is vigorously constructed and expansive with a cut for the headlights and a dim grille that sits just over a wide, gleaming protection of trim that in like manner enlightens around night time. The lines on the hood are sharp and scratched, but in particular, at the back there are a set of 8 cycle taillights you can't get enough of them when they are turned on. The Ioniq 5 gets more sportier with cuts on the wheel bends that mirror the saw state of the art on 20 inch wheels. The Hyundai Ioniq 5 comes with 6 exterior options, Phantom Black, Atlas White, Digital Teal, Lucid Blue, Cyber Grey, and Matte Grey, Performance. The EV6 is available in 5 different trims the base model being the light trim has rear wheel drive, a 58 kWh battery and a single rear motor with 167 horsepower, and 258 pounds to foot of torque. The base model of the EV6 can go up to 232 miles after full charge, while all-wheel drive models of the EV6 have a larger battery pack and either 320 or 576 total horsepower. The next model is the EV6 wind trim that starts at $47,000 with all-wheel drive framework which cost $50,900 if you're going for the optional all-wheel drive of the wind trim, 
Kia EV6 wind model features a larger 77.4 kWh battery and a single 168 kW rear motor for a combined output of 225 horsepower and 258 pounds to foot of torque, with an impressive driving range of 310 miles. The GT Line model is the second to last trim of the EV6. It starts at $51,200 and GT Line with E all-wheel drive begins at $55,900. It has a sportier appearance, thanks to exclusive GT Line trim and 20-inch wheels, while the GT Line models have the same battery and motor, and range figures. As the EV6 wind model, at the top trim we have the EV6 GT which comes standard featuring all-wheel drive. A total output of 576 horsepower, and a lightning quick 0 to 60 mile per hour in just 3.5 seconds. Naturally, we expect the Kia EV6 GT to have big brakes and be generously equipped, along the lines of a loaded Kia EV6 first edition. The EV6 long range battery is EPA rated at up to 310 miles after full charge along with an operating voltage of 800 volts. The 11 kilowatt onboard charger is expected to refill the battery from 10 to 100 percent in 7 hours when hooked up to a level 2 outlet. The all-electric Ioniq 5 is accessible in 5 distinct trims which purchaser can browse. The base model of the Ioniq 5 is known as, standard range model, it's introduced as a back-mounted electric engine that produce 168 torque. With a 220 mile range and super quick charging, the following model is the SE trim that is controlled by a 77.4 kWh battery load that will redesign execution with back and all wheel drive choices, the back tire drive form of the SE model produces 225 horsepower, with a 303 mile electric reach on a solitary charge while the all-wheel drive wheel drive is matched with two electric engines that fabricate 320 horsepower and will convey a 256 mile electric reach. High and I offered the top model of the Ioniq 5, limited long range, as all-wheel drive. The all-wheel drive form is considerably more impressive, with 320 horsepower and a significant 446 pound-feet of torque. The Ioniq 5 accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds which is 1 seconds slower than the EV6 GT model, Hyundai says the bigger battery can be charged from 10 to 80 percent in something like 18 minutes or at 68 miles around 5 minutes when connected to a DC quick charger, speed. The QF6 GT is faster than the Ioniq 5 all-wheel drive. The F6 GT can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds amazing. Unfortunately the Ioniq 5 is only one second behind the F6 when both cars are compared from 0 to 60 miles per hour. Price. The EV6 SUV has a $40,900 starting price about average for an electric SUV. Pricing for the longer range all-wheel drive start from $52,115 and move up to $58,500 for the top-loaded trim of the EV6. The Ioniq 5 price start from $44,000 and go up to $55,000 for the top-loaded trim. This makes the Hyundai Ioniq 5 totally affordable compared to the QF6. Pros of Hyundai Ioniq 5, 1. Spacious and comfortable interior, 2. Fast charging, 3. Up front with info, 4. Stylish and impressive driving dynamics, cons of high and Ioniq 5, 1. No rear windshield wipers unlike other cars on the road, 2. Lack of roof bar mounts, 3. Water on side windows not cleared when retracted, pros of Kia EV6, 1. Fun to drive, 2. Super fast charging, 3. It features many active safety systems, cons of QF6, 1. Rear view is limited, 2. Less cargo space than rivals, both cars are awesome, it's really hard choosing a winner between these two cars.
the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6 are two of the nicest electric SUVs you can get today. On the off chance that you're searching for something out of control and comfortable, the Ioniq 5 is hopefully acceptable. On the off chance that you're looking for a solid portion of execution and tomfoolery, the EV6 will unquestionably fulfill. That's all we have for today. Thank you for watching, don't forget to give this video a like and hit the red subscribe button to get notified for more videos, until we meet again.